All right, is your brain primed and ready to go? Because we're about to run through five more bits of brain BS. All right, brain myth number six, your brain stays active after you were decapitated. Now this one dates back to the French Revolution, when you had all these individuals going to the guillotine, they were having their heads cut off, and then eager physicians are running forward to scoop those heads out of the basket and stare at the faces as all the facial features twitch. Well, modern physicians will tell you that this is all reflex. You're just looking at reflexes in the head. And that's because if you cut the brain off from the heart, in other words, if you cut the brain off from oxygen, it's immediately gonna go into a coma and die. We're talking two to three seconds tops not 30 seconds. Myth number seven, brain damage is always permanent. Now that's a very broad statement to make because there are varying degrees of brain damage. For instance, a mild concussion, that's brain damage, but you can totally bounce back from that. Now certainly severe brain damage is probably going to be permanent. However, there's a lot of room in between and the brain does have remarkable self-healing powers. The brain can't repair damaged neurons, but it can grow and repair synapses, the pathways between the neurons. And so if one part of the brain is damaged, the brain will often develop new pathways so that everything Thing remains in working order. Myth number eight, you can get holes in your brain from doing drugs. Now I'm not here to tell you that uh, doing a lot of cocaine or ecstasy is good for the human brain. However, it's not going to create physical holes in your brain. To do that, you would have to say get all coked up and then drive a spear through it. Physical damage is going to create physical holes, but drug use, uh, while there are some serious ramifications that can occur, not going to literally put holes in your brain. Myth number nine, alcohol kills brain cells. We've all heard this one before, but I'm here to tell you that even in cases of severe alcoholism, uh, the cells themselves are not dying in the brain. Now what can occur in those severe cases of alcoholism is you'll see damage to the ends of neurons, to the dendrites. So the cells themselves are fine, but what's happening is you'll have altered communication between them. Now in cases of severe alcoholism, uh, this can result in a host of harmful and even fatal symptoms. But I'm here to tell you that for the most part, just having a glass of wine in the evenings, you don't have to worry about that blasting your brain. And finally, brain myth number 10 you only use 10% of your brain. This one's a doozy. It dates back to the 1930s and continues to pop up in the media and in fiction. There's this idea that we're only using this small portion of it and the rest is this unexplored domain of ESP and magical powers. But the thing is, your brain would not even be able to function if you were only using 10% of it. So there you have it, 10 bits of brain BS. You know, it just goes to show there's a lot about the brain we don't understand. So what about you? Do you think we'll ever fully understand the human mind? Let us know, we'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below, you can leave a video response, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep this video content flowing at you.